Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Yo, could you believe that Remy Ma is going crazy because Papoose got a young baddie after she left him for a lookalike battle rapper? Like Papoose. Where did he do this at? Yo, if you don't know who Remy is, I'm going to show you a joint real quick. That's Remy Ma. Now, you tell me he did the whole bid with her, went to visit her every day, did everything she needed, took care of her kids, his kids, and held her down like how the females ho holds us down. And then she leaves him for a battle rapper. Come on, son. Where they do that at? I. Alright, you know what it is. Unique make audio. I'ma play this joint. This Remy Ma. Let's get this thing started. Y'all gonna hear the story and I'm gonna comment and get my commentary, my reaction to this story here. Official prison story. Remy Ma goes crazy after Papoose gets younger girlfriend. Baddies Radio did this. Let's go. Remy, Remy, you are up here supporting the victim. We done had six chrome events. Six chrome events. Papoose was at all of them. How come he ain't at this one? When one of my best friends is a dentist mm -hmm. and my daughter's godmother, the f you like talking about fighting. I'd like, I do. I do. It's not even mm. I like talking about fighting. Sometimes people be needing f***ing hands put on them. The mm. And I love boxing. It's one of my favorite sports. I just never could do it. Because it goes right back into that other category without I was telling y'all. Soon as I... <laughs> I'm glad it cut me off. I hope y'all ain't see that. <laughs> Soon as I feel like you get one hit in that I don't like, take it to the... Okay. Yo, why hmm. is Remy Ma out here acting crazy now that Papoose has leveled up and finally left her behind alone? Remy Ma was just out here justifying her cheating and saying that she's more than happy with her new young man. But word on the street is that she's mad salty that Papoose didn't put up more of a fight to get her and their marriage back after claiming that he loved her so much. Yo, do y'all believe any of this? Put it in the comment. Y'all know more about Remy Ma and what's going on with all this than me. Y'all put it in the comment. Because I, Remy Ma, I know you don't have no issue with it. If you got an issue with it, you dead wrong. Hey, you know what I mean? Sometimes we got to move on. You chose first. You moved on. Took him a minute. He found him a little squally. And now he doing what he got to do. Sit back, man. When word broke that Remy cheated with Easy to Block Captain, that nearly broke Pat. Papoose neglected his own career that he was still developing, by the way, to run all the way to Bedford Correctional Center for women to lay next to Remy Ma for all of the years that she was incarcerated. Conjugal visits were from Monday to Friday and started at 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And hey, yo, <clears throat> I ain't had no conjugal visits. <clears throat> Wish I did. Let me ride and tell you about the conjugal visit program real quick. The feds pay for the conjugal visits in the state, but the feds wouldn't allow us in the feds to have conjugal visits. Y'all put that in the comment if you think that's right. The feds paid for conjugal visits in the state, but they refused to pay for it in the feds. So in the state, they got to lay up with a warm body for a few hours a day, sometimes a weekend. And we just had our pillow between our legs for th uh, 30 years. Let's keep it moving. Yo, Pap, tighten up, son. I'm glad you found yourself a squally. Papoose would cancel shows, events, even studio sessions just to make sure that he was there for Remy and she never felt alone. I so in other words, he put his career on hold to make sure that Remy was straight while she was in prison. 
the same way our women do for us when we're in prison, but this is a man doing it. And that's why so many people supported it. And if any females watching this, you're looking for a man, there goes a good one on the screen. He already showed you his loyalty, the way he helped Remy Ma down. I mean, it's unfortunate that he kind of abandoned his budding career for a woman that ultimately didn't value the relationship as much as he did. But he was consistent. He loved her down. And everyone who knew him knew that. I'm going to be like, Pat used to come see me literally every single day. So I was chilling. That's I was funny. like. So he came up every day? Um, Every visit? For the first year, he came literally every single day. When you're in a match, you have a visit every day. Right, so it right, alters right. on the weekends, that's Saturday right. or Sunday. So. so why did you cheat on him? With the other dude that good? Or are you saying that Pap is that bad? Stop it. Pap is official and he get the stamp of approval from the hood, the civilians, and globally the way he held you down, Remy. You know, I don't want to believe that you mad that he found himself a little squally right now when you're the one that chose to move on. All right? Literally every the first day. year. How far is Bedford Hills from? Um, it's about 45 to an hour, depending on traffic. So he was running up there every day, like, coming up there. Yeah, to, like, I mean, it got to a point where I had to tell him, like, yo, like, I'm good. I'm all right. Like, and I guess, like, when he believed it, that like, that was all right, and I was like, he was like, all right, cool. And then come, like, a little bit less. He'll come, like, three times a week. Or, like yo, yo, you see what I'm saying right there, right? Let me explain something to you. I did 20, uh, what is it, 26 and a half years in federal prison. We never tell a girl, it's all right, you don't have to come. When it get to the phase that you got to tell your visitor, yo, you coming too much, dog, that means that you just not into them. You understand? Because if you're in love, you want to see that person every day, whether you're on the street or you're in prison, Am I right or wrong? Put it in the comment. Could you imagine your girl coming to see you every day to spend time with you and you locked up in a prison with a bunch of men? Well, she was locked up with a bunch of women. But could you imagine being locked up with a bunch of women if you're a female or a bunch of men if you're a male and you telling your significant other, yo, I'm good. You coming too much. I'm good. I'm good. That's like, just do for me. Just take care of me. I don't need you to come. I don't need to... Come from back there to out here. Send me money so I can take care of what I need to take care of back there. I know I got my own money, but send me the books, the letters, so they can see I'm getting mail. And I got a dude out here that's like, you know, but I love a dog. Because if my man told me, right, that's right. If my man told me, right, my homie told me, yo, you, you know what I mean? My girl told me that. She good on me coming to visit her while she in prison and for me not to come. I tell him straight up, leave that trick. Leave that trick. She's just using you for what you could do for her, and she don't have eight hours of interest to sit in front of you. I'm just saying. I'm letting you know how I go on the inside now. Like, you know, but he still, it still seemed like he was there a lot. I spoke to him almost every, literally every day. The two of them had just exchanged vows over the phone because Remy was cuffed and off to prison. But Papoose took those vows very seriously. Very. He rejected anybody that tried to penetrate their relationship and he was loyal and never stepped out on her. There was someone one time that claimed that Pap did cheat on Remy while she was locked up and had even gotten another woman pregnant. But baby, he shut all those rumors down mm. and he had this to say, quote, I love the ground my wife walks on and would never, ever cheat. Hypothetically speaking, if I did, it would never be with someone who is this unattractive. I'm sorry, end quote. And on top of that, easy was Papoose's. Don't he look like Pap? I'm just saying. Put it in the comments guy and the last thing you want to hear is that your woman and the man you thought you could trust were clapping cheeks behind mm. your back I told y'all this months ago i told y'all that remy ma and papoose are done i told y'all that papoose put hands on mm. that little boy she messing with because that's a little boy that's not a grown man remy damn near 45 mm. okay Remy damn near 45 years old. This little boy works for her. He is trying to get a come up and rap. Remy Ma and Papoose was supposed to own this company together. And Remy Ma ends up sleeping 
And I'm going to say allegedly with the help. I just want to. Hey, yo, stop, 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 stop. Let, 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 let me talk to Remy for a minute. Yo, Remy, right? And Pappy. Y'all running a company. A little squally want to give you a piece. The same thing that we tell a female when we're in prison. Go do you, you know? But just, just don't get pregnant. And just don't do you around the children or my family and friends. If you're going to do you, go out of town. Go out of state. Just don't let it get back to me. I understand you got to do what you got to do because you got needs. But at the same time, respect our union so no one has to come back and bring this to us. That's the same thing that Remy should have said to this dude, the battle rapper, not to disrespect him. Yo, family, check it out, Rob. I'm kind of job feeling you, you, you know, this what she should have told him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your tongue look good. You might have a good tongue game. You got a good spit game. You're a fire battle rapper. So you put your words together real good. You work your turn real good. And I know you could touch certain spots that I need to be touched. But I'm just letting you know that I'm married and I'm going to give you a little piece. You know what I mean? And that's it. In, in, in Jamaica, we said, we just start giving my little piece. You know what I mean? So that's all she had to say. I'm giving you a little piece. Don't get attached. I know it's going to be sweet like candy because it's Remy Ma. You know what I mean? Like Remy Martin. You know what I mean? It's addictive. It gets you drunk. And it does all of the above. But I'm letting you know now that I'm married and I'm with my man, but I'm just giving you a little peace because I'm a little bored and I need a little excitement in my life. And right now, I chose you for the moment. Not for the long haul. Once the word gets out and other people start finding out about what we got going on in our private freak life, we're done. That's what you should have did, Remy. But instead, Remy said, oh, I love you, boo. See, Remy became, but I love a dog. That's what she told her friend. But I love a dog. I love him. How could you love to help? When your partner has been so loyal, and you know that it's only temporary lust, satisfaction. Stop it. Let's keep it moving. Remy, I know you fly in that. I, I, Bronx chicks don't play. Remy, tighten up. I say, oh, Remy mom might have set us back 400 years. Word. <laughs> Bad enough these men don't do days with us, let alone bids with us. Mm. <laughs> Girl, what is going on? I'm about my business, though. But you done set us back 40, 400 years. You did. You did. They ain't never going to do nothing with us. They don't do nothing with us now. You feel me? Not black love. Not papusa. Not papusa. Baby, that's crazy. And then you're going to get a man that look just like him? Word. Little head and big hat? Like, what? Mm. The? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I hope that what I'm hearing ain't true. I don't watch rap battles. I don't care for Remy Ma. I don't watch Remy Ma. No shade to that lady. Nothing in common. Um, uh, yeah, I thought her relationship was very much great. You know, he mm. looked like he loved her. He always bragged on her. They always, always. looked happy. You know, and that'd be the sh that y'all be looking up to or we be looking up to. And it, it just the, the home front really don't be right. It don't be right. And it all could be a rumor for all we know. But... Just by how it's looking and his response to the battle rap, I, I, I've been trying to mind a uh, celebrity. Let me shut up. Let me go. Bye. Bye. I ain't got no. No, no, not no bye. You kind of cute. What's your name with your long fingernails looking all sexy, talking that real? Listen, sis, check it out, Rob. You know, I, I'm not even going to go there because I don't even know if you're ready for it because I'm from another generation where we go what we want and we don't have to DM somebody to get their attention. We see them on the street, we push up. Now, subscribe to Mecca Audio TV. Please, go subscribe to Mecca Audio TV when this is over. All right? No, man, 
and that's why. Bye. And yeah, folks went in on Remy. When a man decided to do right by her, Remy went ahead and embarrassed him, then tried to make it seem like it was his fault that she stepped out on their marriage. But anyone who saw how much Papoose gave up to be by Remy's side knew that everything she said was a lie. When the news broke that she had cheated with Easy, Remy tried to deny it and claim that there were forces working against their marriage. Papoose, on his part, really tried to keep it together, at least in public. And even when Remy showed up to his birthday party with their daughter, he didn't disrespect her and he allowed her to stay until she was ready to leave. But child, get this. Remy was spotted getting cozy with yet another battle rapper called what? Bad News. The two of them were hugging it up and showing off their matching watches. And unless this is a brother that she just found out about and reunited with, people are speculating that this is the new guy that Remy Ma is messing with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Remy got another battle rapper? Remy, the, one of the baddest female battle rappers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get back to this. And unfortunately, that's what Pap gets for being the right guy to the wrong woman. Mm. They done told him that Remy was crazy when they first got together, but he decided to look the other way and stick around and unfortunately find out. He definitely loved her way more than she loved him. But even though Papoose never said a word or did anything to embarrass her, he is finally moving on and ready to live his life. Word on the street is that he has a new woman and this is the first time that he's been excited about someone in a minute. The woman he's with now is allegedly a boxer and Pap is trying to protect his relationship by keeping it out of the public eye for as long as he can so that their relationship can have a better chance of survival. But seeing Pap love up on a new woman when he's been up under Remy for as long as he has. Ha and he's loving up on a boxer? Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know Remy a fighter, Remy out the Bronx. Yo, Remy. She a boxer. She a fighter, dog. <laughs> All right, let's go. Has Remy feeling very insecure. She still wears the big old engagement ring he got her when she came out of prison. And sources claim that she often talks about her and Pap finding each other again after the storm of her cheating with multiple men blow. Hey, yo, after the storm of multiple men blow, check it out, right? Like I said, because I ride. Like I said, I went out to a club with my man this weekend and he in the club female, he tried to talk to us acting up and he said, man, scrap that trying to get with this female on some romantic time. I'm looking at that rock on her finger. I'm ready to take that joint, you know what I mean? And let her man know that he picked the wrong one. My man was ready to jack the female for the rock on the finger. Be careful when you ladies go out there because they out there. Over. Remy isn't a fool. Oh no, she knows that ain't no man, especially in her industry, going to just show up for her, hold her down, and stay faithful the same way Pap did. Especially now that she has to worry about her son facing those charges. And yeah, in case you didn't know, her son Jason Scott has been arrested on some heavy charges for taking someone out on a bounty. I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. 23-year-old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a murder of Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that Remy released a statement saying, quote, we stand by Jason's innocence and pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly a difficult time for me and my family. As his mother, I want to address the situation personally, but have been strongly advised by his legal counsel not to say anything. As most people in similar situations are informed by their attorneys due to it being an active case, end quote. So on top of being pressed about Papoose moving on, she also has to worry about her son getting locked up for good. Now that she sees Papoose going steady with another woman, she is running her mouth like crazy, as if she wasn't the one that was originally in the wrong. Yeah, I really be feeling like every now and then somebody needs to get the What you talking about? She a boxer, Remy. She is a boxer, Remy. Remy, stop it. She's a boxer. You know what I mean? Where was we at? We over here somewhere, right? Right over here. We go and go here. 
I... is allegedly a boxer and Pap huh. is trying to protect his relationship by keeping it out of the public eye for as long as he can so that their relationship can have a better chance of survival. Smart but man. Seeing Pap love up on a new woman when he's been up under Remy for as long as he has, has Remy feeling very insecure. She still wears the big old engagement ring he got her when she came out of prison and sources claim that she often talks about her and Pap finding each other again after the storm of her cheating with multiple men blows over. Remy isn't a fool. Oh no, she knows that ain't no man, especially in her industry, going to just show up mm. for her, hold her down, and stay faithful the same way Pap did. Especially Word. now that she has to worry about her son facing those men charges. And yeah, in case you didn't know, her son Jason Scott has been arrested on some heavy charges mm. for taking someone out on a bounty. I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. 23-year-old Jason Scott has been arrested in connection to a murder Queens that dates back to 2021. Investigators are looking into the possibility that Remy released a statement saying, quote, we stand by Jason's innocence and pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly a difficult time for me and my family. As his mother, I want to address the situation personally, but have been strongly advised by his legal counsel not to say anything, as most people in similar situations are informed by their attorneys due to it being an active case end quote. So on top of being pressed about Papoose moving on, she also has to worry about her son getting locked up for good. Now that she sees Papoose going steady with another woman, she is running her mouth like crazy, as if she wasn't the one that was originally mm. in the wrong. Yeah, I really be feeling like every now and then somebody needs to get the What you talking about? Mm. Not terrible talking about they still beefing. Yes, they ain't fight yet. They gotta fight. Like, people like, oh, fighting is beneath me, da 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 Like, no, it's not. What are you talking about? It, it, it cancels a lot of problems. I don't care. I don't care. She's if a boxer. You, don't with people. That's bigger than you. Like, what you talking about? I don't have no sympathy for you. you oh, well, you knew you was little and you knew she was big when you was talking sh hmm. That's, that's what just happened. She mm. talked about how much she liked boxing and how she was always up for a fight no matter who or what it is. And this just looks like a grown woman throwing a temper tantrum now that she ain't getting what she wants. Not, not but Papoose me. ain't with the BS and he's not giving Remy any of the attention she's looking for from him. He has lost all sorts of respect for her and isn't even trying to be bitter and get back with her for what she did. Apart from talking about their daughter, Papoose doesn't really deal with her in any way. Even the internet is taking his side and definitely has something to say about Remy coming for his new girl. Quote, I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I still can't believe the way Remy Ma did Papoose. He ain't deserved that. He loved her TF down and held her down her whole bid. She's a goofy man. End quote. Also, nah, don't quote, say that. Why she mad she cheated first and with a couple people? I hope he is payback. She for the streets. End quote. And another, quote, he shouldn't have held a street chick down in prison while not married. Should have moved on. Now time is wasted because he followed a woman that follows the game. She cheated with a younger wannabe version of him just because she can, end quote. But what I really want to know is what y'all think about this. Do you think Papoose will eventually go back to her? Or has Remy Ma crossed an unforgivable line? Make sure you share your thoughts in the comments as well as like and subscribe. I'll see you. Hey, y'all. So that's what it is, right? It's a crime scene. That's all it's going to It's going to be a crime scene. Remy Ma catch up with this girl from what they're saying. It's going to be a crime scene. You know? It's going to be a straight crime scene. So that's why I tell you, man, be careful of the women that you choose. Make sure you choose the wrong one. When we was younger, we had children with women that was not qualified to be baby mothers. You know what I mean? But they look good. They sex good. So we followed our lower heads. And we had some what you call trash baby moms. You know what I mean? But we still came out of our pocket and made sure the children's all, children was all right. And then, of course, the mother would say, oh, he's just a wallet dad. I learned that time when I was here since I've been home from one of the homies. But they called my homie a wallet dad because my homie didn't want to deal with his baby mother because she had too much drama and too much bull crap. So what he did was... You know, he ain't with the courts and all that. He's not with, not taking care of his responsibility. So he said, okay, I'm just going to give you X amount every month. And that's it. And if you want to see me, you see me. If you don't, you don't. Good riddance. 
but I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to play this game, and we definitely not going to be doing this. You know what I mean? So my man just give her the money, and she get mad, and she think that, you know, whenever she calls, she's supposed to get money outside of the agreement they got of when she gets money. You understand what I'm saying? But that's what happens when you get the wrong baby mama. So you just wind up taking care of the kid and leave the female alone and keep it moving and leave her stuck in the same rut that she in because she think that you're supposed to take care of her or her other kids, you know what I mean? Or her cousin kids, her auntie kids, and everybody else kids, you know? Yo, who this? Yo, all right, obviously that was a spam. Now, so we don't have the Remy Ma joint down. What do you think? Do you think that uh, Remy is wrong for throwing a tantrum? Or do you think Remy's not even throwing a tantrum? This might be just internet gossip. That's what I'm here to find out. That's what you're here to find out. But when you get somebody to do a bid with you, when you get someone to do a bid with you, you don't sit there and play those little games and sit there and say, I don't want to be with you when I get home, but you was there when I was in jail. But in her defense, she could say, I told you not to come all the time. I thought you knew that I didn't really want to be with you. That's where this is at. Make sure you subscribe, and I'm going to show you so you know. Make sure you subscribe at Mecca Audio TV at YouTube. Mecca Audio TV at YouTube. Please go over there and show brother some love. And also hit the subscribe and notification bell and all that over here if you haven't, or just hit the notification bell if you already subscribed. You got to hit the two. It's a two step process. We out of here. All right. Cheers, cheers, the Out the can of 26, he back on the strip, getting back in the mix. What he mentions a gift. You stand up ten toes down, and I suggest you pay attention to this. Take a little gully posse and put it in home. He cut from the bottom, came up from the bottom. Drop the book, you should go and get it. An Instagram page and a YouTube, you could go and visit. Then you could consider yourself LinkedIn. Sit front row and get juice from a kingpin. How he went through it, so you ain't gotta go do it. Did not pay attention, would be stupid. Talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on probably the reason that him and your grams got along a man that generated millions on the block did his time never squill it to the cops make an audio Like two G's in the night. Yeah. Drop top beam is so shine. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Yeah. Treat her like my past, she behind. Yeah. Spin a couple bands on the dapper dead. Yeah. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. Yeah. No cap, this a roaring uptown. Yeah. Baby horn uptown, Dominican bust down. Yeah. Now we on the positive. You we got a lot to give. Yeah. Now you trying to stop the kids from being an operative. Yeah. So take heed, homie, lend the air. Yeah. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. Uptown. But now it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars. It's no. about buying property to make the community ours. So we can get back to the...